All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at else if statements. So it's basically just the same as an if else statement, but uh, those were only going to give us two possible outcomes. Uh, having an else if statement uh, can give us as many outcomes as we want, basically. So for uh, let's um, let's do like a GPA calculator where you put in your percentage and you get out your letter grade. All right, so let's have a double and let's call this percent. Okay, and then let's make a character. Uh, char here, we don't need to make it a string or anything, so we're just going to give it one letter at a time. So let's just call that char letter. Okay. So first things first, see out to our user and tell them something. So say, hey, uh, what percent did you get? They can input it there on the same line. Um, we'll end that string, semicolon, and move on. Okay, perfect. So now we can see in, um, see in, what are we doing? percent okay perfect so now we're gonna enter uh, our if statement so we have remember we had a condition in brackets and then our statements in uh, curly braces uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our first section uh, just regularly so let's say um, maybe if you get if uh, what do we got here if percent is greater than 90 we're gonna do something we're gonna say that that person gets an A right so we'll say letter equals and now remember character has single quotation marks and we can do it like that okay perfect so this is where we would usually say else you know if else and then we'd have the two options um, but we're going to specify a little more we're going to say else if and you'll see why uh, in two seconds so what we want to do is uh, now we can just copy this down here to save writing it again and maybe say if they get above an 80 then they'll get a B right I'm sorry, that shouldn't have bumped out like that. It's kind of hard to see now. Okay, so else if. So this is saying, here it's saying, if this is true, do that. Otherwise, if this is true, do that. But that only makes for, uh, that only accounts for these two. What if there's other things, right? And so we're, it's exactly what we're getting into here. Watch this. Oops, it keeps wanting to bump out like that. So now we're going to say, well, if this, is, if this isn't true, don't do it. Or, I guess uh, if this is true, do that. Otherwise, do that if that's true. Otherwise, do that if that's true, right? So we're just going to keep going with this. So, so we're saying if they're above 70, they're going to get a, a C. And you can kind of see where this is going. It's just faster to copy and paste, so I'm not wasting all your time. Um, let's say if they have above a 60, they're going to get a oh, A, B, C, D. I don't memorize my alphabet here. And now this is also where we say, okay. So again, if this is true, do that. Otherwise, if this is true, do that. Otherwise, if this is true, do that. I think you get the point. And then to finish off an else if statement to uh, to account for everything, uh, every other possibility. Um, let's see. Uh, we would just say else, right? So any other possibility, and we're just assuming that this person is actually going to enter a number between zero and one hundred. We could make a whole if statement to rule out numbers above 100 and below zero, but for now we don't really need to do that. The purpose is just to introduce this else if uh, setup. So first of all, we missed all these semicolons. So we're gonna have to go down, oops, freezing up there. Fill those in, put one there, we're gonna have to put one there. Else, if um, percent is, ah, we don't even need it. We don't even need that, sorry, that's my mistake else um, then letter is equal to F semicolon okay perfect so now we can say uh, we can see out to your user see out um, your letter grade is something like that and then we would just see out member uh, letter if that's the name of our variable and yeah, that should finish it up. We'll just end line, semicolon, and uh, we're gonna run and save this and uh, see if there's any issues. Hopefully there isn't. Now remember, remember these are all one lines. Uh, these are all each one line of statements, so we don't need those curly braces around them. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try and run this and see what happens. So here we go. It's uh, taking its time tonight, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, what percent did you get? 
Let's say we got 95%, which should, say it should give us an A, right? Hey, look at that, your letter grade is A. Cool. Um, now let's go in here, maybe, oh, let's put in, who knows. Uh, we're saying below 60 is a fail. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> so this is a hard class, you need at least 60 to pass. So I think what you can see here, we'll do one more time. Um, what percent did you get? Maybe let's say we got 70. All right, so we're saying if you get a 70, you get a D. And that's because if you get a 70, if your grade, your grade isn't above 90, so it's going to go down here. And it's not above 80, so it's going to go down here. And it's not above 70, so you're going to go down here because this is greater than 70, so that's not greater than or equal to 70. So here, that's where you're getting that D because then finally it's like, oh yeah, okay, I can give you a D on this one. And then once that happens, you're going to bump out to the end of this whole else if kind of tower of statements and stuff and come down here to the C out uh, where your letter grade is. So there you go, that's a else if uh, type of setup and you'll find that that's pretty useful um, definitely when there's more than two possible outcomes and you can just keep doing that. And like I said, remember, what if someone puts negative one or a uh, 101? Well, right now it would put out either an F or an A, but really you could have an if statement saying it's like, if it's greater than 100, you know, give them an error, or if it's less than zero, give them an error. All right, cool. I'll see you in the next video, and we will talk about nested if-else statements.